In today's video, we're answering the question, can the government, can the prosecutor, can the police use the body cam that they recorded against you in their trial, in your trial? The answer is yes, they can use it and they will use it. Part of the reason the police have body cams is to gather evidence against you. And if they can use this to their advantage, they certainly will and you better plan for it. If you are representing yourself, they will almost always introduce this. They'll go into court and they will press play. They'll introduce it as an exhibit. They'll get it confirmed that they can get that in front of the judge. Once the judge says that it's authentic and that they can play it, they'll do it. They'll press play. If you do not have a lawyer, you're not gonna be able to know how to defend against that. They'll just hit the play button. The judge will see what they see and the likelihood of you being successful at your trial is very, very low. Not a good idea to represent yourself. That being said, they can't just use it for whatever they want to use it for. There are a lot of rules in play. There are a lot of things that they can use it for and a lot of things they can't use it for. There are things that we do to keep evidence out. So what we need to do is go through a very strict analysis. This is a case-by-case, -case, highly fact-intensive process that we go through where we review the body cam and break it down into little segments. We break it down into subsections and we analyze what can be admitted into court and what cannot be admitted into court. The big question comes down to what are they using it for and how is it being used? What are they using it to prove? What evidence are they trying to get admitted from the body cam and what are they trying to prove and how are they trying to prove it? What are they saying? Who is saying what? What evidence are they tending to show? So let's take a, an example. If they're using it, for example, in a DUI case where they're just having somebody do field sobriety tests and they have that being recorded and an officer is going through the motions following a standardized field sobriety test, the likelihood that they're gonna be able to get that in to show evidence of the test is high. They're probably gonna be able to do that. But if the officer is doing the same test and the officer is making a bunch of comments that aren't relevant to what the test is intending to show, if the officer is making sort of uh, off the cuff remarks or saying things that aren't directly related to that test, then those are colorful, colorful remarks that really should not come into court. You should be able to get that portion of that body cam thrown out or that evidence inadmissible due to the prejudicial nature of those comments. So you need to go through this analysis where you're saying, this is appropriate, this is not appropriate. This is hearsay, this is not hearsay. This is demonstrative, this is not. And what we do is we go through that, every single body cam on all of our cases to make that analysis, to make that determination. And it's not as simple as it may sound. Some people think that they can just go in and press play on the body cam. Really, they can't do that. There's a lot of hoops that they need to jump, jump through in order to authenticate it, get it admitted, and then get what is actually on it in front of a court, in front of a judge, or in front of a jury. So that's why it's important that you go through this process. It's not as simple as it sounds. You need to make sure that you have an attorney who's spending the time to go through it and literally watch it. Some attorneys don't even request this stuff. It's kind of shocking to me, but there are a lot of uh, attorneys out there, criminal defense attorneys. I used to work for two other law firms prior to us starting our and our law group where this was not even part of the protocol. We did not even request this stuff. It was something that they just refused to do. Obviously, I didn't last there very long and we decided to do things differently here at our firm, but you do wanna make sure that you're well prepared. If you think that you can go in on your own and that you're gonna understand the objections that are required in order to get Get this stuff thrown out, you're probably not going to be successful. So be smart about it. At least give our office a call. If you're concerned about whether the body cam is going to be helpful or hurtful in your case, or if you think that your case is sort of a closed, open and closed case, that the, the evidence is going to be so damning that you're not going to be able to do anything about it, don't lose all hope. Give us a call. We've kept a lot of this stuff out. There's a lot of reasons why it should not be admitted or if it is admitted, why only certain parts of it should be admitted. So we can help you go through that analysis. It's something we do every single day. We have a whole legal team dedicated only to criminal law. So give us a call. We offer free case evaluations. We'll review your case specifically and make sure you have a plan to get through this with the minimal amount of damage possible. Literally nothing to lose. Give us a call. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks for watching.